Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with yet another story of a very young company raising money at a very high valuation. The company this time is Cognition Labs. You might have seen the demo for their AI coding assistant, Devin, which initially blew people away with its ability to do much more autonomously than it seemed like other coding assistants could do. Although subsequent to that initial launch, there has also been a little bit of controversy around whether the company perhaps oversold its capabilities, at least from a PR standpoint. Founders Fund seems to think that the hype is real. The venture firm has led a $175 million investment into the company, valuing the company at $2 billion. This is the second round the company has raised in the last two months, with Founders Fund leading their Series A at a $350 million valuation just a month earlier. Now, of course, the question with something like this is how much it reflects the specifics of this particular company, product, or area versus just overall hype in the AI space. My perception is that many think that when it comes to the next iteration of AI focused on AI agents, coding agents are going to be one of the first places where broad adoption happens, and the transformation to how coding works is going to be extremely significant. In other words, this is an opportunity that investors see as absolutely huge, and so when a firm seems like it has something genuinely unique and differentiated in that area, it's not surprising, perhaps, that it's going to attract a significant amount of capital at very generous valuations. Still, for many observers, it's hard not to see some bubbly signs. In another piece of the information, they write Venture FOMO hits robotics as young startups gets $1.5 billion valuation. They write Venture investors are paying a hefty premium to back robotic startups harnessing artificial intelligence, hoping one of them can become the robotics version of OpenAI. The latest version, they say, is Skilled, which they report is nearing a deal to raise nearly $300 million at a $1.5 billion valuation. Now, they will say that the deal isn't done yet and the terms could change. But the fact of the matter is that this is a company that right now doesn't have any revenue. The information points out that when it comes to robotics, there is something of a boom going on right now. In the first quarter of 2023, robotics companies raised $1.7 billion, and that was up to $3.2 billion in funding for the same period this year. Now, we've talked previously on the show about Figure, which earlier this year raised around $675 million at a $2 billion valuation from people like Bezos, OpenAI, NVIDIA, and others. And another company called Physical Intelligence raised a $70 million pre-seed round at a $400 million valuation. Now that company, Physical Intelligence, is trying to do something a little bit different than these companies which are building humanoid robots, focused on, as they put it, building the brain or the operating system that runs underneath any given robot. Now, speaking of the big cost to compete in the AI space, Meta has reported its earnings, projecting that revenue for the current quarter would be lower than what Wall Street anticipated. What's more, the company said that in their battle to create advanced AI, they were likely going to spend billions of dollars that would cut into profits. Meta raised its spending forecast for this year from 30 to 37 billion where it had been to 35 to 40 billion driven by AI infrastructure, data center, chip design, research and development and more. Now, we could get deep into what it says about the state of current markets that Meta stock plummeted after this. But I think the more interesting thing for our purposes is that Zuckerberg is laying down the gauntlet here. He is making it clear that they are going to compete in this space, and they are going to spend the money to do so. Over in the land of chips, NVIDIA is buying two Israeli startups that both make NVIDIA's AI chips easier to use. Writes the information, During the AI boom, chipmaker NVIDIA became one of the most active corporate venture capitalists, investing in over 30 startups last year alone. Now it may become one of the most active acquirers of AI startups. These acquisitions are yet to be formally announced, but they include a company called RunAI and a company called Desi, about which the information writes, both venture-backed startups aim to lower the cost of developing or running AI models that generate text images and code, which is important to NVIDIA's hopes of maintaining demand for its specialized chips that power these models. Basically, the idea here is that NVIDIA wants to bring down the cost of running models in order to keep companies coming back to buy more AI, which in turn will create demand for its GPUs. These companies tackle that cost problem in different ways. Run AI works to make AI chips more efficient by allowing developers to run multiple AI workloads in parallel rather than sequentially, which in aggregate reduces the number of NVIDIA GPUs needed to complete a task, while Desi tweaks AI models themselves so they can run more cheaply on AI chips. One Israeli news outlet is reporting that NVIDIA is paying $700 million for Run AI, while Desi's purchase price has not yet been reported. Finally today, when Drake released a diss track featuring AI-generated Tupac and AI-generated Snoop, The dog father responded with an Instagram post where he basically laughed it off and said, what the heck is going on? Tupac Shakur's estate has taken a slightly different approach, threatening to sue Drake over the track. 
They wrote that this infringed on Tupac's legacy and that they would never have given their approval. And so the music industry continues to be a central battleground for the future of AI from a legal perspective. For now, though, that is going to do it for the AI Breakdown Brief. Next up, the main AI Breakdown. 